climate crisis deepens. Trump sought social media manipulation. West Virginia veteran turns blue. All that and more coming up on PNN. Welcome to Progress News Network, the daily broadcast dedicated to real news for fair-minded Americans. It's Wednesday, October 10th, and first up, News Dissector. A United Nations scientific panel released a new climate change report, that paints a far more dire picture of the immediate consequences of climate change than previously thought. The report describes increased wildfires and worsening food shortages in just 20 years' time. It has reignited environmental concerns around the world. President Trump has mocked the science of human-caused climate change, vowed to increase the burning of coal, and has withdrawn from the Paris Climate Agreement, which fights global warming. But experts agree that this report makes one thing clear. There is no way to mitigate climate change without getting rid of burning coal. The White House has not yet commented on this report. Next and underreported, the New York Times is reporting that former top Trump campaign official Rick Gates shopped for vendors to manipulate the election. One such team, known as Psy Group, is staffed by former Israeli intelligence operatives. The plan was to use social media to destabilize rival campaigns. Gates has now pled guilty in the Mueller investigation into collusion. President Trump has vehemently denied any collusion had taken place. But this report reveals that the Trump campaign absolutely wanted to use social media to manipulate the election and mislead the electorate. While the Trump campaign never officially greenlit these campaigns, Mueller is tracking a $2 million payment that appears to pay for the services. This story is developing. We'll keep you posted. And now in all politics is local. With midterm elections just four weeks away, there probably isn't a local race more interesting than the third congressional district of West Virginia. Republicans in the long-held conservative stronghold find themselves in a neck-and-neck -neck race with Democratic candidate Richard Ojeda. In 2016, the West Virginian 3rd District went to Trump by more than 50 points. Now WV3 is at risk for the GOP. Ojeda is a uniquely appealing candidate. He's a retired Army paratrooper who saw combat in Iraq and Afghanistan. He also voted for Trump in 2016. Ojeda became a folk hero during this year's teacher strike. While the GOP incumbent is still a slight favorite, the fact that this race is close could indicate just how close the midterms are leaning. Just keeping them honest. Thanks for watching PNN. We always appreciate hearing from you. So please comment, share, and like us on Facebook. We'll see you tomorrow.